so we're both from Wiz. My name is Mohammed, just a little introduction. And I came to Wiz, so I was introduced to Wiz uh, maybe seven years ago when I was in high school. And when I came, I met Mike, who's on the line with me today. Yeah. And he's gonna give you a little introduction about himself. I'm Michael, um, been a youth worker at Wiz now for 17 years. Um, I had the pleasure of working with this young man here. Well, not young man, he's getting a bit older now. His back's hurting him. <laughs> I had the pleasure of working with him when like, he was quite young as well. Um, started coming to the youth club to do tire boxing. Um, one of the guys, but did, that's one of the reasons why I think I still do this job 17 years later, because of guys like him. So the first question I want to ask is, what were you doing before Wiz? Like before you were introduced to Wiz, or you came about, or you came across Wiz? Where were you before? Wasn't doing much with my life. No, wasn't doing nothing actually. I was floating, um, and Wiz was one of the places that gave me a chance in life to kind of like straight up my life, get a career, get a job, professionalise myself, and I think it's not just done that to me, but like I've seen numerous young people. Um, over the years, come in like quite hopeless um, and leave with direction. You know, it, it doesn't just give me a chance in life. It gives lo it gives loads of people a chance in life with good chance, good op opportunities. When they come there, it's like a family. Uh, so if they feel, ever felt isolated and lonely before they come there, by the time they leave, yeah. They don't feel lonely, they feel accepted, they feel like they belong to something, the confidence gets built up, you know, it's just, it's endless, it's endless. So as well as Thai boxing, I know you also do something else at Wiz, because I learned from you whilst I was there to chef up some dishes. I'm a bit of a chef. Nah, I think I am, but yeah, <laughs> it comes out, you know, to be honest, I don't really plan it like how chefs do, but... I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a good cook, it always comes out nice. The, the young people enjoy it, the, you know, the, the, they help out as well. Um, so yeah, it's good, it's good. So as well as um, Thai boxing, you also do little workshops, don't you, that help educate young lads? We've done like um, mental health workshops, um, drug and alcohol awareness, gang, works, gang awareness workshops as well. We used to be big on, big on that. That was years ago. Um, we've done a lot of gang awareness, um, um, not not just workshops, but conferences as well. So I remember, like, quite a number of years ago, when it was quite um, the gang activity was probably at its highest, like, peaking. Um, we had like a few guys from America come over, um, Bloods and Crips um, leaders come over to do like talks around. Um, they were doing talks around the country, and they ended up coming to um, coming to Wiz as well and doing some um, a conference there with um, like family members, parents that had lost children, um, gang members, ex gang members. Oh, it was massive. We even got funded by um, one of the local food shops and um, provided loads of food and things like that. So. We've done loads, we've done loads, we've done loads of workshops, lots, man, lots. What we plan to do is have these little um, discussions, usually on a weekly occurrence. So if there's any topics that you guys want to hear about, uh, just message the Wiz Youth Club page. So yeah. hopefully we'll have a few other members of staff involved in this as well.